Hello, interwebs and Pokemon Go hunters alike. Today I have a special treat, one that comes with the three-step bug. Um, I'm gonna start talking about the three-step bug. When you find a, when you open up Go and you look at your radar, I call it your nearby list. You see, every Pokemon is three footsteps away. Right when the game came out, that wasn't a problem. You can easily track your Pokemon by zero to three footstep. You can tell how close you are to it. Now it just shows three footsteps and it's a pain to track. Uh, what this is, I have a way now, I found it, something upon Reddit, uh, how to, you can actually, I know this is something everyone wanted, precise tracking. In other words, what, it, what I'm going to show you is, I'm going to show you a few prerequisites of what you'll need to get this method I have going and then the to final product is going to be you'll have a Google map, you'll have your exact location, and you'll be able to find Pokemon. And you can track them down to the exact address and get locations, and you can also find how long you have to go get them. So this is a breakthrough. Will you get banned for doing this? I don't know. Hopefully not. Because Niantic has no clue how to fix tracking, and they'll just be like, okay, you do this, and you can go hunt your Pokemans, just finding the address of it, because no one can track, period, now with this glitch. And a good thing I find about it is when I go walking, now I have my phone out playing Go, and now, it t now with this map, I'll know precisely where to go if I want to find a Pokemon, like... Right now, I have 21 Eevee candies, and I want to evolve an Eevee, so I need one more Eevee. So I'm going to have to find an Eevee somewhere, and I don't know where to find an Eevee. It just pops up at random. But with this, everything's going to work. So first thing you're going to do is browser, and you're going to look up Python. Python, if you already have it, uh, just make sure you have Python. Maximize this. Make sure you have Python 2.7 point whatever. And when you when you download and install it, make sure that you have pip. That's P-I-P, pip. Make sure you install that while installing Python. If not, uh, look up git pip dot python. Um, that should tell you how to do it for Python 2.7. And once you have that, um, make sure that pip is working. So if you open up a command prompt, and you just do PIP, and you can get this this list right here. Okay, PIP works. If it doesn't, that's a different tutorial. You can look that up on your own. But once you have Python and PIP working, I'm going to have a link. That's going to give you a folder called Pokemon Go Map Master. You're going to open up that, and now I'm going to, now you can see this is the folder. What you're going to do is you're going to hold shift and you're going to right click and that's going to bring you a, a shortcut menu. You're going to have open command window here. That's going to open up command prompt straight to your directory. That's going that's so you don't have to, you know, do cd, you know, directory and get to the folder. And from here you're going to do pip pip that's pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and I already had mine installed but it'll take a good while it'll take it's, I think it took me about five minutes depending on your internet speed and such but once that's done you have a long little thing to type up and I actually have it in a text file I believe right here okay um, I'm blurring out the bottom half of my screen because it has my actual username and password on it but uh what you're gonna type you can see it on the top half of my screen python space example dot pi hyphen a it's gonna be in the description you can copy copy paste it um if you're doing Pokemon trainer account I believe you type PTC right here but I'm using a Google account so I'm gonna do Google uh then you're gonna do space hyphen u. Then this is gonna be your Google username, and now I'm gonna have to copy. I'm gonna have to blur out my entire screen now. Um, 
I'm just going to put the uh thing. You're going to see what you're going to need over it. Hyphen U, my username. And I'm going to do hyphen P, my password. And then my GPS coordinates. If you don't know that, you can just do a quick Google search and find your coordinates. Make sure that they're separated by a comma with no space in between. Paste your coordinates. Space. This is a uh, default settings hyphen st10. That's going to tell you how far to search. And if you can hit enter, it should log in to go. Okay, uh, I did something wrong. Uh, I must have not copy pasted right. There we go. You'll get the copy paste right. Okay, and you'll see looping step one of ten, searching for Pokemon at location. And it's going to keep going that while it's doing that. Now the magic is happening. Go back on your browser and in the search bar or if title bar, if you have it, uh, do localhost colon 5000, hit enter. And here's a map. And it's slowly populating with Pokemon right now. Uh, I have my this okay this is not my actual location it's a little bit further down the road but it's enough just to get it's everything still exact I just entered my GPS my, uh, yeah GPS coordinates wrong so if you zoom in all I got to do is basically leave turn right turn left and I can find me a Venonat and a Rattata it's straightforward no one step, two step, and this vent and that's only going to be for the next four and a half minutes. And as I saw over here, I saw Dodrio. Okay, if I go down, this is normally where I go ride my bike and I can catch a few Pokemon here. Um, for the next nine minutes, I can go catch a Dodrio off the road. So I'll be nice and look, there'd be my Eevee. Up oh, there, nope, that Eevee ain't going to last. I ain't going to get there in 15 seconds. Uh, let's F5 it. And that's what you have to do. You have to keep refreshing it. That way you can... Ooh, Bulbasaur. There is a Bulbasaur right here. Um, that'll especially help me now because I'm seeing more and more on my radar, or my nearby list, that there's Ammonite right by my house. And I can't find it for nothing. I found so far Ammonite, Nidoking, Magmar, I think Snorlax. None of that I could track down because the tracking was broken. With this, I'll know exactly where to go and how long I have to get there. So, uh, like I said, this is all in my neighborhood right now, and this is my entire city. This is a truck stop, and they're absolutely loaded. Venonat, um, Pidgey, Rattata, if you like catching those kinds. And uh, all you got to do is keep refreshing the page. And I believe I remember last time I did this, I did see a Meowth. Uh, Bellsprout. The Drio's still there. Um, the Duo got a few here. Got a Pidgeotto here. Just make sure you don't set that very t last number where I had you type in ten. Make sure you don't set that high, or I think that might raise a flag to get you banned. There's no as long as you stay within your town, like I am right now. That should pretty much do it. Uh, actually, this is basically. 10 this is basically my neighborhood all in here this is the other half of town but uh let me refresh it again let's see if they oh no it goes a little further i got a zubat at a church nothing suspicious uh pidgeotto um what i really want to see is my friends always telling me that there's a slow bro at this church right here and wait for that to pop oh there wow Remember that truck stop? There's a, let's see. Oh, wow, the Eevee just spawned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Pokemon at a truck stop parking lot. Man, I'd be going crazy right now. And by my house, Weedle, Rattata, Pidgey, pretty much. Um, that's pretty much it. Any questions, feel free to ask me. Again, I don't know where this stands on in terms of getting banned or not. Just don't go stupid with it. Don't type in anywhere that isn't your hometown, like New York, if don't if you don't live in New York or something like that, because that will definitely raise a flag and you'll probably get a soft ban. And then you'll be wondering why you when you go to the Pokestops, 
nothing's working. You can't get the Pokestops. You can't battle the gyms. When you find a wild Pokemon, you throw a Pokeball at it. It breaks out. No matter if it's a Master Ball or whatever, it breaks out and it runs. That's a soft ban. Normally, you might... Act, I had a friend accidentally get that because he uh, traveled too far, I guess. The game kind of raised the flag, but I just traveled out of state and I didn't have a problem with it. Uh, again, any questions, feel free to ask. Have fun tracking down your Pokemon, getting fit, unless you're the p kind of people that um, go in your car. And also, there is another thing for this program you'll find on the GitHub page. It also tells you where to uh, track gyms and Pokestops, and the gyms also tell you what Pokemon is on it, what team controls it. But other than that, I'm done, so stay classy, Internet.